Hey, my earth signs, and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe here, the energy, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. So, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, this is for you. Weekly energy update anywhere from the 23rd through the 29th of January, give or take a couple of days. Almost says September, so the month of September could be significant for you guys. Um, maybe Virgo specifically, or maybe your Earth Sign dealing with another Earth Sign. Um, but yeah, this is a very general message, you guys. Please keep that in mind. It's not a private reading. So although it may resonate very heavily for you, um, you know, sometimes it might not be your story or it might not be entirely for you. So with that being said, just take what does resonate, leave what does not for the next person. Um, Earth signs. So the first song I got for you guys is by Travis Scott and it's called Sicko Mode. Um... And it's, free, it's featuring Drake. So Drake is in that song. And it's something about, he says something about the winter is here. Okay. So we are depending upon where you are in the world, but it is, you know, winter time where I'm located currently. And I'm pretty sure for a lot of you guys as well. Um, so something is being solidified this week or something about like being very cold um maybe very like cold or detached or just kind of like straightforward something like very serious about something this week okay um what else it's a part of the beginning of the song whereas he talks about trying to warn somebody it's like i tried to warn him or i tried to show him i tried to show him um and with the title of sicko mode i feel like whatever's going on this week okay our signs it's like Maybe you try to warn somebody or you try to show somebody or you try to help somebody. You try to put them in the right direction. It was something here that you were trying to do for someone or look out for or warn, something like that. Um, and maybe somebody underestimated you or you're just having to like really put your foot down in this situation or show somebody something. OK, um, what else? The second song that I got for you guys, it completely changed up the energy, completely changed up the tempo, and it was um, Shut It Down by Drake, okay? So emphasis on Drake, Drake vibes this week for you guys. Um, maybe that's your favorite artist or something like that, but it completely switched the tempo, right? The vibe of the reading. So um, Shut It Down, Earth Times, I feel like somebody is viewing you this way. Like no one else has anything on you. This could be whoever you've had to set boundaries with this could be that person realizing that nobody is you or nobody you know um no one had their back like you did or something like that like somebody's realizing your worth it could definitely be this past person um but if this is a new energy for you it, this is somebody who like is appreciating you like they feel like you shut it down they feel like no one else has anything else on you whether this is in love or in finance okay um nothing on you so the water signs had the energy of nothing on you the song nothing on you by bruno mars so you could be dealing with a water sign maybe this is a water sign for you um but the elements as a whole this week as a collective is really about like being the chosen one like you guys are the chosen one there's no one that can get in the way of that whether you're chosen and you know your destiny your career your your love whatever it is it's about releasing cleansing releasing purging some sort of transformation here that's coming in so i encourage you guys to look at all of the elements um because there could definitely be something in there for you especially if you have all the elements as a major placement in your birth chart so let's hop into it you guys let's see spirit what messages do we have for the earth signs this week please like the video share comment sub and subscribe the more you put your energy into these messages the more i can pick up on what's going on with you and it definitely helps the channel grow you guys it helps the algorithm so please like the video tell your friends to do so as well spirit what messages do we have for the earth signs this week okay well we have a time to give rather than to take this is earth signs energy virgo we have your dreams need a practical plan it says full moon and taurus and then we have nothing is yet set in stone okay um hmm 
nothing is yet set in stone maybe as you're watching this okay but something is definitely going to be set in stone in some area of your life this week or signs okay um i keep getting the energy of putting your foot down so i don't know if you're really putting your foot down or establishing some sort of boundaries here um and then we have it's time to release negativity what did i just say all of the elements have been about like releasing so maybe you're releasing, you know, a certain situation or um, relationship that you deem to be um, negative or toxic or low vibrational or holding you back. That was Scorpio energy, which talks about transformation. So let's see. Scorpio could be significant as well. What other messages do we have for my earth signs this week, spirit? The energy is gaining momentum, okay? Something about um, either you being speechless or someone else being speechless as a result to what's, what you're choosing to do um, or just mind blown or something like that is what I'm picking up on. The energy that I'm feeling right now, shuffling for you guys. All right, what else? The answers you need are coming, okay? Full moon in Gemini. Meditate and contemplate. So maybe that's what it is, like a need for you to ground yourself, which is usually not hard for you to do as earth signs um but maybe you have maybe you have water in your chart because this says new moon and pisces here okay so maybe um depending on where the water placement is it can be hard for you to kind of balance out the water earth mixture in your chart what else a win-win outcome is in the forecast. So y'all went from nothing will come of this situation to a win-win outcome is in the forecast, okay? I feel like you guys took some sort of control here or um, something about like control over the karma or karma being on your side. It's like you realize that nothing would come of a particular situation. So you made some sort of change, some sort of choice, or you're doing so this week and it lands you in a win-win outcome, a win-win position, okay? Um, I also think the water signs saying that this is Pisces water energy here. It was something in their reading about them making better choices or them learning the lesson in something or something about their past shaping them for something that's occurring this week. Um, and it's a good thing because they had the experience and they went through it. But now whatever's happening this week, it's like you're able to win at it because of something with your past, because of what you've been through. At the bottom, we have be bold and make the first move. What did I say? Taking some sort of action. Either you have already or you're taking some sort of action here that's going to land you in a win-win situation this week, Earth Signs. Okay, so let's see. Let's see what the Psychic Oracle has to say. Ooh, yeah. So at the bottom, we have awareness here. Okay, so knowledge is almost giving wisdom, higher than energy. That's Taurus energy, but spiritual knowledge. Um just knowledge in general spiritual healer leader teacher so some of you guys can be spiritualists as an earth sign watching this um some, knowledge is power something about what you know something about what you know or people trying to figure out what you know or how you know something here some sort of power that you have mentally people might feel a type of way or be envious of your your intellect i don't know why i'm picking that up okay we got discontent and boredom, and then we have victory and success, okay? And we have positive movement forward here. So if there's a situation that you were stuck in, something was stagnant, okay, a standstill, it's like you have, you're becoming aware of how to handle it or a certain decision to make here. Yeah, hope you're being given some sort of knowledge, okay, or gifted some sort of clarity or information here it feels very spiritual so for a lot of you guys this is like a spiritual upgrade okay um truth what else patience truth i feel like you've been very patient you've been waiting on this very diligent what other messages do we have for the earth sign spirit I kind of feel like something's going on with your memory this week. Like you could find yourself having a hard time remembering something, or maybe you're really trying to remember a specific something here, but we have triumphs uh, that's popping out here. The number seven could be significant. Fertility, firm foundation, mental conflict, balance. Yeah, whatever the mental conflict was or whatever was blocking your intuition, something was blocking you mentally. Like you couldn't see it or... I don't know what was going on in your life and it was taking a toll over your mental. So whether this be just your mental, 
your your intuition or um mental peace here okay it's like you're winning this is this is celebration here you're winning at something or you won triumph you beat something there's something that you beat okay or you're su you're succeeding at this week um and it feels like a, a spiritual block okay it feels like it could be a, a creator's block writer's block a intuition block okay a spiritual block somebody could have been you know dabbling in whatever trying to kind of like um like put this like facade over you or this illusion i feel like you're breaking free from some sort of illusion here yeah accelerated motion okay what else spirit other messages from my earth science this week towards virgo capricorn destiny card number 10 yeah something's over with fertility you're destined to be abundant okay to be balanced you are the magician okay that's virgo energy gemini as well could have that in your chart um it's like you were destined for something. So if there was a blockage, fire signs had the energy of a blockage being removed. Could have fire in your chart as like a north node. If there was a blockage here, it's being removed. Foundations and achievement. Yeah, you're regaining some sort of stability here. Okay, emotional stability maybe. Something in regards to like a home dynamic or with kids or something. There's stability that's coming. Messages for my earth sign spirit. What other messages do we have for my earth signs? All right, let's go ahead and split the deck. transformation right out the gate transformation that's how you start so this tense could be very this tense this week could be very intense for you earth signs i'm hearing like straight out the gate right off the bat as soon as you wake up even today sunday will be uploading this or tomorrow monday something is just very intense the energy is shifting for you okay a scorpio could be significant for some the waiting game. Yeah, it's almost like the perfect timing or something you've been waiting on or something about divine um, timing here, divine alignment. Whatever's happening for you this week, it was supposed to happen this way, okay? The past is really tying into the present for all of the elements. Something about like your past is making sense to you this week. Yeah, prosperity begins, yep. The waiting game, prosperity begins. I feel like you've been waiting for this. You've been waiting for whatever this is, this something, this someone, this opportunity, this balance, this new beginning, this start, this spark. Okay, you've been waiting for this. Solitude, you've been doing the work. Okay, you have been doing the work. Virgo energy, the hermit energy. Okay, you've been studying, you've been healing, you've been doing your research. Okay, you've been working on you, you've been working on your mind, your body, whatever this is, you've been working. Typical earth sign, like you, you've been working, you've been putting in work for this. Okay, there's also something like that's really big that's happening, some sort of new beginning that you might not be being very open or vocal about with this solitude card coming after uh, prosperity begins. It could be a guidance for you to keep it to yourself. Let's see. Shadow. Yeah, some sort of transition here out of the darkness into the light. It's like you're being past the baton or you have regained some sort of power or you have the power here. Shadow, hidden. Okay, keep this to yourself. Exactly what I just said and I got the answer instantly. Um, something you've always been waiting for. Keep it to yourself. Shadow card, okay? The letter S could be significant for some of you guys also. Okay, so let's see. Sacrifice. So I said S because we have solitude, shadow, and now we have sacrifice. Something about the letter S. Okay, or whatever number the letter S is in the alphabet. But sacrifice to the transformation. It's like you created this change. You really are like the magician of your life right now. You're... Um, heavily manifesting and i feel like you know this okay or if you don't know this you need to know this and be just very mindful of your thoughts and just every little thing that you do because i feel like it has such a powerful impact here you sacrifice something you created this change that's happening in your life okay oh recognition and reward the waiting game okay so i don't know if you've been like really actively waiting for this or not 
or it was just a reason as to why you had to wait or why something is coming through for you this week, why this prosperity is beginning, this partnership, this alliance, whatever this is with you and someone else, these roots that are being planted here, okay? Some sort of, something is initiating this week, roots are being planted and it's a very firm foundation. Like this has the ability um, to grow into something very fruitful here, very sweet, very loving, very giving, okay? Very abundant butterflies and peaches. Something about acorns are significant as well. You've also done the inner work with this shadow card. Like this solitude shadow card is healing. It's inner work. It's addressing old issues and traumas. Um, it's learning. It's being able to deal with your issues so that you can go about life helping people deal with the same things that you have been through here. It's like you're being like the baton is being passed to you it's like you had this position this could be a spiritual upgrade um achievement graduation degree it's like you are on a higher level here in some area of your life recognition and reward getting like getting um your flowers your trophies your medals here firm foundation something about the color red is sticking out these th these three red cards right here I'm hearing all you need is two, okay? All you need is two. And here we have the number one, the number two, the number three, the number four. Something here is going exactly how it was supposed to go. It's either going exactly your way, exactly in divine alignment, exactly how it's supposed, something's starting this week, okay? And I feel like this is something that's going to be in your life is longevity is going to make you feel rewarded and appreciated. It's going to be a firm foundation here. What else, spirit? Solar plexus. Okay. Solitude. You've done the work, though. Solar plexus is about action. Okay. It's also about um. it's just a very sacred space that your stomach area. Something about butterflies, too. You've been keeping quiet about this. Something gives you butterflies or it's like you're anxious or you're nervous or excited. That's what I'm getting. So you're very excited about something or something's going to make you very excited this week. Whatever this is that's coming in for you right here. Okay. And then we have moving on. Okay. Transformation. Something is definitely over here. Look at this light that you're walking into. Look at this abundance that you're walking into. It's like a heaviness, like you are releasing all the elements are releasing this week. Okay? This moving on card is clarifying this shadow card here. You are upgrading. You're upgrading in some way. You're moving on. It's all of this energy of out of the darkness into the light, clarity, transformation. You are entering one of the best phases of your life this week, Earth Signs. And you can tell me how that resonates for you, but it's something about your energy is so light. Something here is over, but it had to end for whatever this stability is to come in for you. Okay, this grand opportunity, this income, this job, this position, this, this love, this friendship, this partnership, whatever it is for you. At the bottom of the deck, we got stand your ground. This is you being on top. Stand your ground. Stand on this firm foundation that you've built for yourself. Okay? A lot of you guys might just be very humble, which is nothing wrong with that. But it's like you earn this. You deserve this. Like you need to stand on that. Okay? And what did I say? The number seven is significant. It came back out here. Positive movement forward and new beginnings. And the base chakra starting from the ground up. And the star card. This is hope that you're being given here. This is a gift. Spiritually gifted. All right. Let's pull these up. Let's go ahead and hop into the tarot. We are already 19 minutes in. Time has really been getting away from me in regards to these readings um, this week. And I feel like that's how it's going to go. Like it might go extremely fast or things are just picking up pace very fast or just coming into fruition very fast for you. Full card. It's a whole lot of new beginnings. It's a whole lot of new energy that's happening for you guys this week. Okay. King of Cups. High Priestess. Page of Pentacles. Ooh. Water energy. Okay. Earth energy. Aries energy. 
What are the messages? This could be someone wanting like a new beginning with you. Yeah, because now we got the, okay. Now we got the Queen of Cups with the full card. First, we have the King of Cups. And I'm even seeing this Knight of Cups poke out here. Okay, so something about a water sign could be significant. Um, or just a partnership. King and Queen of Cups here. All right, something that's equally, um, equally given. Got the same thing for the water signs. Check out the water signs video if you have it in your chart or if you're dealing with a water sign. Spirit, what messages do we have for the earth signs this week? Any extra messages, any clarity, any confirmation? What else do we need to know for the earth signs this week? All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Seven of Pentacles. All right, so this is you pouring into, investing, something that you're working on or something that you have already been working on. I see you guys like really taking care of yourself though. So your, your health, your hair, your hygiene, um, anything, giving life. You're just kind of like really giving life to yourself, enjoying life, um, giving life to other situations, people around you. Um, something, the energy is just giving, okay? And this could be someone giving to you. Knight of Wands could be this Knight of Wands energy, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius doesn't have to be. I do kind of feel like though, Earth signs, this is you focused on your own grass, your own water, doing your own thing, minding your own business, and it could be like a tyrant energy coming towards you, whether it's a fire sign or not, somebody that's very fiery or coming in very hot and heavy or passionate. Can't really tell if this is a distraction, like a good or a bad thing. Let's just see what else comes out. Queen of Swords. Okay, so this could be somebody that you cut off, okay, or a situation that you cut off here, or you're going to shut this down real quick, okay? Um, the song y'all got, Shut It Down by Drake, something you're shut, that you're shutting down real quick, or you've already done this, full card. I feel like you've released something, like you've sent somebody on their way, okay? You've given something back, an issue that wasn't yours, a person back to the streets. Like, you, look at this. Some of y'all could have put somebody out here. Somebody like fool. This is foolish energy. A fool. Okay. Or somebody thinks that you're foolish or that you're stupid or whatever this nonsense is. I see you guys cutting it out. So you might have, you know, a little bit of a distraction or something that's trying to be a distraction this week, but I feel like you guys are taking care of it. Yeah. Seven of swords. You sending something, you're sending somebody back to their deceptive ways. Okay. I'm hearing you made your bed lay in it. Like you are not for the bullshit. So whoever this is, whoever it might become, whatever this is for you, like you're sending somebody back with their lies, with their deception here. Somebody trying to like swoop in, be a distracting, a distraction or like, um, like woo you or something. Something is like fake. Like you see straight through someone's behavior or actions this week and you sending it right back. Could be doing return to sender type of uh, spells and energy. Cause I was picking up on like some sort of, um, um, attempt to have control over your mental or your intuition here. So you could just be sending that energy right back. Yeah, five of cups. That's what, exactly what you're doing. You're sending that energy right back. Or you're giving somebody the same energy or like a taste of their own medicine or just very cold. Something has been cut off. At the beginning of that song, I, I, I'm telling you, I heard winter is here, okay? So that part stuck out. So it's kind of like the time has come or your time has come or the time has come for something to take place in a particular situation here, okay? For you to let go of it or something to move forward, that moving on card, to move forward. You're being spiritually guided to let go of something, okay? No longer crying over spilled milk here, okay? No longer falling into whatever this night, whoever this knight of wands is for you, okay? Page of cups, somebody who was only offering you the page of cups, something, someone that was initially draining you, a situation, a person that was draining you, although they may have tried to present themselves to not be doing that. Okay. So again, some sort of illusion. I feel like somebody's very delusional around you. Okay. Something about like believing their own lies here. Hierophant could be a Taurus energy. Okay. Or this could be some sort of like person 
that deems themselves to be like a leader or very righteous or something about like the way people in the community might view this person or how they want people to view them as you know having all the answers or i just keep getting like righteousness or something like that um but the fool card but in, in the reality somebody doesn't know what they're talking about or some energy is very fake here something was all an illusion um and I feel like you're either exposing that or you're just cutting it out or you are being very truthful and blunt with whoever this energy is for you, okay? Um, whew, all right, last card out, Spirit. We got the Ten of Wands, yeah. I don't know who or what this is for you, but Seven of Swords with the Ten of Wands, it's like someone's heaviness, like all their lies and deceptions, like flighty in and out energy, non-committal, like it's a mess. Somebody's messiness here. It's like you're giving somebody back to their, their own mess or you're just no longer putting up with the bullshit that comes with this situation, this person. This could have been with a job or a school or a relationship. Like it's something here that you had ties to at some point, but you no longer do. Somebody's um, lies or deception, someone's ways is like catching up to them too. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we got the magician card here. What did I say? You are the magician. Virgo, Gemini energy. You are the manifester. You are taking action. You have full control over something. Some sort of karma or destiny here. The Empress. Okay, you are also the Empress here. Something about realizing your worth. You have the power as the Empress, whether you're male or female watching me. Okay, Five of Pentacles, Death card. You put an end to something that was draining you. You stood up to someone. You're standing up to someone. Something is in your hands earth signs okay this week and i i feel as if you know it i feel as if you are taking charge um and it's not it feels like some it almost feels like your hand was forced in a situation like you would rather not have to go about it in a certain way but because of circumstances you just gotta shut it down so i will leave it here leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time